Hello, welcome back to the channel. Mr. Candor Triple O here. Uh, today I just wanted to show you my, uh, uh, my, this is the uh, Gerber Applegate Fairbairn. Uh, this is the covert version. They have a, uh, I guess they have a, a regular combat version. And they've also got a uh, smaller version called the, the Mini Covert. Um, I've actually got the Mini Covert right here. Uh, these two knives, I kind of bought them at the, around the same time. This was actually my first $100 uh, and above knife. Um, this thing was actually a, a safe queen to me. At the time, you know, 154 CM steel, you know, I, I thought I thought I was the uh, the man. You know, just coming from 440C and, and you know, VG10 and 14C, 28N and stuff like that. And so, you know, when I got this, I was like, wow. Then, of course, um, after I got it, I had the problem of not really having anything to do with it. You know, I work in an office, and so I end up just kind of carrying this one around for the most part. Uh, this one here, it's a, you know, great build. Uh, everything is fairly the same. You know, it's a, not quite to scale, but that, it doesn't really matter. It's a, you know, it's a great, great size for, you know, inner pocket carry. Um, the only thing with this one is the uh, the steel is a bit questionable. I can't remember what it is. It's almost like an HCR 13 kind of kind of thing. You know, I think at the time I just assumed it was 154 cm because the the larger version was 154 cm. But uh, anyway, you know, I checked on that a little bit later when uh when I learned a bit more about knives and steel and that kind of thing mattered to me a little bit more. And then I realized that that steel is crap. So anyway, uh. Kind of, you know, got away from using this one. This one was an exclusive knife. I, I used this thing and I carried it every single day for the longest time. But meanwhile, this bad boy just sat in my uh, in my safe, not doing anything. So I changed that. You know, I've been trying to carry all of my knives lately. You know, r regardless of the price. And this is no, this is nowhere near the most expensive knife that I own nowadays. But I think psychologically, I, I still kind of thought of it as a safe queen. You know, kind of. Didn't want to ruin the uh, the you know the, the 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 lettering on here. You know you wouldn't want to do that. You know just keep it pristine. You know it's purely purely for show and not use. But uh, you know nowadays I actually carry this thing around. And one of the one of the things that I did once I immediately immediately when I started carrying it was I went ahead and added that that double edge. That was not there before. Uh, you know the original edge here, so, you know super sharp. It's a little bit shinier because I've stropped it, you know, and I, and I strop, you know, to, to give it a little bit of a polish. But uh, but that edge here, that's my edge. I, I put all that on there. And, you know, the, the fact that this blade stock is so thin, it didn't take me long at all. I'd say it probably took me, uh, gosh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, started off with a really coarse, uh, really coarse stone. Moved up to what a thousand, they moved up to four thousand, and then just kind of just kind of stropped it. I didn't really feel the need to go any higher as far as uh, grit. And this thing, man, I tell you, it, it came out pretty well. I think I don't think it could be any more uh, any more even. And as you know, I took a page out of Lynn, uh, but Lynn Thompson's book, and you know, just 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 did the edge, you know, the tip there. Didn't really need to. To do the entire edge, I started it right after the uh, the Applegate or the you know the Rex Applegate, um, I guess in, engraving on there, just so that uh, you know I didn't want to uh, again I didn't want to screw that up. But functionally, I only needed the tip. Um, you know, it's kind of a penetration kind of thing. You know, I didn't I I, I didn't really uh, intend to use it as a secondary. I guess. Uh, cutting edge this is it really was more of a penetration thing and again i was just kind of just putting the knife to it more of its original use which is a uh which is a stabbing weapon this is not a uh this is not necessarily a, a, an edc designed knife you definitely carry it as an edc but i don't think it was designed for that and uh, again that's part of it is the fact that they made that top edge swedge whatever you want to call that so so thin uh, i think in anticipating people coming in and actually putting on that that secondary grind by themselves so anyway um my dogs are 
are getting hungry and they're out there whining. So you can probably hear that in the video. So I'm going to cut this one short. But before I do that, I just wanted to, uh, again, I just wanted to showcase uh, one, of, one of my vault knives, even though it probably doesn't deserve to have that title anymore. Uh, man, this thing is it's a great knife, great knife. And it, like I said, that, uh, that secondary edge actually is completely recessed in that handle, which makes it much safer than, than a normal double-edged knife, you know, which is probably going to be a, a fixed blade anyway. You don't really see too many uh, double-blade um, folders unless it's a, an, an OTF or something like that. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and do a quick size comparison for you before I go. So there's that. All right, here I've got the uh, got the PM2, and they're very they're kind of similar in size, at least handle size. Uh, the blade obviously is uh, a little bit different. Uh, let's see there. Yeah, about a uh, quarter quarter inch shorter, half an inch maybe. I don't have the actual specs on it, so I'm not worried about that. Just kind of just wanted to show you the, the size, but the handles are very, very similar uh, lengthwise. You know, they couldn't be more different, I guess, in, in shape. <laughs> but anyway, just wanted to uh, give you some some reference. Uh, another one here is the uh, the Endura 4. I think many of y'all have an Endura 4, so that I think that would be a good reference knife. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty comparable in length. If not the if not the same, but yeah. Anyway, just wanted to give you a give, give you a look at that bad boy after I put my my, my fancy new edge on there. So just wanted to uh, show that and put that out there. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.